One more freaking day until the release on the 26th of March. Aren't you all hyped? Oh wait, no. Oh well, delay. But we got some news, so stay tuned. <laughs> Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am Faber1 and today we're going to talk some more about Planetside Arena. I always try to keep you guys up to date with the latest news around the Planetside universe. If you don't want to miss anything, please consider subscribing to the channel. But let's go on with the news. Oh well, news, I, I don't know. As you guys might know, there haven't been any official developer announcements since the delay. Nothing, nada. That doesn't mean they're not working on the game. In hindsight, again, I'm very glad they decided to delay the game. Because today, another juggernaut in gaming has released their own Battle Royale game. Namely, Battlefield 5 with their Firestorm mode. This game mode will probably rule the coming days on Twitch, YouTube and other game-related websites. So I'm glad they are not releasing tomorrow. What the developers did release at Daybreak Games is an update to the game, at least an update to the beta launcher. I have seen people having to update at least 2.1 gigabytes of the files in Planetside Arena. Unfortunately, I myself decided to refund the game just because the developers themselves were saying to refund the game and they couldn't do it automatically because Steam wasn't able to do that. Anyway, I used the refund to get an all access membership for Planetside, but in hindsight I might regret it right now. <laughs> when I press play on the beta launcher, Steam says I have to buy the game and then I get to a page, the boy page, but there is no boy page for Plans of Arena since there's no prize yet or whatever. But there are people that are still able to play the game. Apparently the NA servers are open sometimes, probably for testing purposes inside the developer team themselves, since no beta has been announced yet. I was made aware of this by a post on the Daybreak forums for Plans of Arena. So if you have any feedback or any questions or anything when you're going online, Please let us know and uh, post it on the Daybreak forums. But okay, let's go to the juicy part. A few helpful parts of the community have been data mining the game and all the files. So what they basically did was comparing the old files with the new files and see what has been added since the update. Technically, I think it breaks the NDA we have signed, but on the other end it was also fine to discuss the game. Personally, I do think it's very important to discuss these things, so I decided to share with you guys. However, I did not data mine myself, and I really want to give credit to the person that did it. But also, I want to protect the lad that shared his information with us, thanks to his data mining. I will see this. It was shared on the official, unofficial Planetside Arena Discord, so I'll put a link down in the description below, and you might want to look at it yourself, because it's just a good place to discuss the game. Let's go to the results. The first thing that gets mentioned is the power weapon and also the power weapon slot. What it says in the description is, find power weapons found in airdrops. So what we did see in the beta we played were galaxies dropping airdrops carrying legendary weapons, the orange or gold weapons. It could for example be a daimyo or just a legendary pistol which was not that powerful but okay. Except for the pistol you always had to give in one of your other slots. But might be that in the future updates, there will be a special weapon slot for the power weapons, for the special legendary weapons from the crates. Especially since the only way to get a scope in Planetside Arena in the early betas was to get a legendary weapon. However, using the Daimyo means that you have to give in one of the other weapon slots. For me personally, it was impossible to use Daimyo and the Rocket Launcher because I had no good short range solution. The Carbine felt like a must for me. So this might mean we get a special slot for the power weapons itself, or what it could mean is that you get a special slot for example the rocket launcher. Both would be fine but I think a special rocket launcher slot would be amazing. And then in other news, and this might be a bit more controversial because I don't know what I think about this, but we have found files mentioning Liberators and Valkyries, so basically aircraft coming to Planetside Arena. If aircraft will be part of Planetside Arena in the Battle Royale mode or in the Massive Clash mode, I don't know. They might fit in both modes, especially since already the Arrestor is a part of Planetside Arena in the Battle Royale mode, but they maybe will also fit in the Massive Clash mode. Personally, when I was thinking about Planetside Arena, with no mention so far of aircraft, I was actually kind of relieved, mainly because as an infantry player, I really dislike getting killed and killed and killed again by Hellfire rockets. But I do understand that to some people, aircraft makes Planetside Planetside. My only hope personally is that they should make the aircraft as weak as for example the Arrestor is right now 
or Wash Indie Panzer Arena Beta. Make sure the normal LMG or a normal carbine will be a threat also to the aircraft. But that would mainly be for the Panzer Arena Battle Royale. I don't know how the balance should be for the Massive Clash, but let me know in the comments down below what you think the balance should be for Massive Clash. Talking about the Massive Clash, I've seen something different in the data mine notes. For example, Massive Adapt Match. Get ready, war will drop in a few seconds. What does this mean? I have literally no clue. <laughs> to me, it gives like a bigger signal that the Massive Clash mode will be a Battle Royale mode, a Massive Battle Royale mode, like 250 versus 250. But I'm not sure about that yet, so take it with a grain of salt. At least to me, it's interesting they're not talking about Massive Clash, but Massive Dap Match. So Massive Clash would as well be something completely different. What's more, I think Planet Arena learned from Apex Legends Battle Royale mode. They added a respawn terminal and a respawn pot in the files. Just a small recap for the guys that don't know what the respawn terminal does in Apex Legends. If you play Battle Royale, you only have one life, and if you get finished, you have no chance to get back in the game in, in Fortnite and in PUBG. But in Apex Legends what they did, they added a respawn terminal. So if your teammates win the fight, if they survive the, the fight and they find your body within a certain time limit, they can bring your body back to the respawn terminal and you can get back in the game. Especially if you play in team modes, it just adds a lot of fun to the guy that died. There is still a possibility for you to come back. But it doesn't really change still the concept of Battle Royale, so I think it's a decent change and I think Planet Arena does well by copying this system. They better steal a good idea than make a crappy one themselves. Also while talking about respawning, also they mentioned a revive grenade. Revive allies in a small area around the grenade. So more or less the Planet Side 2 revive grenade gets a comeback in Planet Side Arena. How this will work out I have no clue again, it could be that it will only revive down teammates because you can't finish down teammates in Planetside Arena. But it can also mean that it could completely bring back any player, even after the down state of a minute. Again, as an other recap, in Planetside Arena, there is no crawling mechanism, no last stat mechanism. When you died in the Battle Royale mode, you see yourself from a, like, uh, a third person perspective from the sky and you have to wait 60 seconds and in that time frame, you can get revived by your teammates. If you don't get a revive, you're done for the game. Personally, I do hope the revive grenades only revive down players and not completely timed out players. But still, I think it's a good addition to the game. We are not done yet with the data mining leaks, because also they found out a night mode for the Battle Royale on Amorish. As you might know, Planet Arena is not a constant battle, so normally you wouldn't get to see the moon in the day 9 cycle like in Planet Side 2. So what I guess will happen is that you, by the luck of the draw, you will get all daytime, all nighttime in the Battle Royale mode in the future. I personally think this adds to the fun and also works well in other games like in for example PUBG. They have a Vikandi nighttime mode and it's just a lot of fun to play over there. Especially with the beautiful skybox they're using and I do think that Planet Side Arena also has a beautiful skybox so this also might be very promising in the night time. I'm looking forward to this. Finally, this can be again about the aircraft I mentioned earlier, but in the files somebody found the Typhoon. Again, I have no clue what a Typhoon is. It could be a weapon, it could be a land vehicle, it could be an air vehicle. But personally I'm thinking right now because the fight is over, the war is over in Amorish, and nothing is left about the factions. So no ESFs, or also known as Empire Specific Fighters. So more or less the F-16s of Planetside. But okay, the war is over, there are no empires left, so what has happened with all the different aircraft vehicles they have? They might be combined in this new Typhoon air model, but again, I'm not sure about this. I've got this voice in my head screaming, Faber, Faber, please let us be an X-Wing, please. But I think I need to see a doctor soon. <laughs> and while I am seeing a doctor, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel and maybe watch my discussions I did earlier. Especially around the data leaks and all the possible changes to the gameplay. We had a discussion yesterday on Sunday with the drop podcast. Every Sunday 9pm GMT, Greenwich time or Universal time, we have four experts on the field of planets side discussing the state of the game and also leaks like this in planets side arena. In our most recent discussion we were talking about the effects that the changes could have to the gameplay. So you might want to check that out. It's every week live on Twitch TV slash Fable One or twitchv.bratnew and also you can find it every week a recap on our YouTube channels. Every other week I post the podcast on Tuesdays. 
and tomorrow, the 26th of March, you can find the latest discussion around the Planetside leaks. It is an hour long discussion, also debating anti maxes and other stuff that changed in Planetside 2, so be prepared. Having said that, I'm Fable1, and I will see you soon with some more content.